Acum e ok. Once upon a time, there were two crowds who had a nest in the garden of a tree at Pear Blossom. At the bottom of the, of the tree lives a snake, and every afternoon at three o'clock, while Mr. Crow is at the store, he slithers up the, uh, the tree and swallows whole whatever eggs are in the nest. The, this goes on for a year, 297 eggs, we are told, until one day Mrs. Crow comes home from the store earlier than usual. She catches the snake in the act. Master, she cried, what are you doing? Speaking with, with his mouth full, the snake answered, I'm having breakfast. Then he, he then slithers down the tree and gets back in bed. When Mr. Crow comes home, Oh, when Mr. Yeah, Mr. Mrs. Crow demands that he kill the snake, Mr. I Crow, Mr. Crow refuses. Accused of being a coward, he replies, "I never said I was scared. All I said was that I didn't think your idea was a very good one. Your ideas are seldom good. I may add." So he goes off to, to see his friend Owl, a thinker and wise. Of course, Owl has a plan. Owl leads Mr. Crow through all the action of making clay decoy eggs, then shave the clay from Mr. Yaw's alfaca patch. They fire the clay in the chimney on the roof of Olivia's house, and they paint it. Lucky that Siggy has been doing some painting around the place. Pale green with black spots, exactly like real eggs. The next day, the crows leave the artificial eggs in their nest and then go about their usual activities. Sure enough, the snake slithers up the three at three o'clock and swallows the two clay eggs whole. He's proud of himself that he even sings a song about the fact that he can eat the eggs even without he has no wings or legs. After the song is finished, however, he notices something's wrong. The eggs have not been have not broken before reaching his stomach, and he now has a terrible stomach ache. He twists himself up in his agony, try, tying himself to the tree. When Mr. Crow, when Mrs. Crow returns from the store, she gives the snake a long lecture about eating other people's eggs. Since that time, Mr. Mrs. Crow has successfully hatched our four family of seventeen children each, and she uses the snake as a cloth line on which to hang the little crowds dice.